Okay, I had to start another video because my battery got too low and the camera turned off. But anyway, I've gotten um, the uh, paper off. It feels pretty smooth. There might be still a little bit of nubs on there and you can kind of get those off a little bit with your full hand. And uh, there's some places where I didn't have it dry enough uh, when I dried it. Uh, that's why it's better to leave it overnight. But, you know, I think I'm going to let that work to my advantage. This is a retro toaster, and I think I'm going to go ahead and age this um, toaster, this coaster, with my tea dye distress ink. And so I'm going to get out my blender, my tea dye foam, and attach it to my blending tool, and go ahead and do that. I'm going to start out with inking the edges, give it that antique look. And then I'm going to experiment a little and I'm going to put a little bit of wild honey on it. Find the right one. And I'll get another blending tool. And I'm going to introduce this yellow. Doing it just a little bit uh, less pressure than with the tea dye. And now also this brings up, now you can kind of see where I have some, still have some uh, paper fibers. But again, I'm going to let this work for me. I'm going to go back to my tea dye. And then go back over some more. And now I have this really nice patina on there. And kind of get the edge there where I didn't get where the my picture was smaller than the coaster. And then I can go around and ink along these sides as well. Okay, and then the last thing I want to do is to put a finish on it, and I can do that um, with a sealer or a varnish, but I think what I would like to use is this medium from, uh, another medium from DecoArt, which is called Texture Glass, and it's a textural paint, a dimensional paint. And I'm going to put it on, take it right out of the jar, and just kind of glop it on there pretty thickly. And it will dry to a clear. And it will have a real thick um, glass-like texture to it. And that will be my protection, and I will be able to use it at, to actually use this as a coaster with um, with wet uh, liquids, with liquids that sweat onto the coaster, and it won't ruin my uh, image transfer. So I'm going to set this uh, off to the side and uh, let it dry. I'm going to close this up and I'm going to go back to the one that I did earlier and I'm going to go ahead and put some wild honey all over it. I want it to be yellowed.
sorry, moving the camera. And then I'm going to go to my tea dye. And ink the edges. Now you see um, some variation here because uh, this is some of the canvas where I pulled off too much again and I kind of did that on purpose on this piece because I wanted that extra texture. Okay, now I think I would like to have a darker edge around the around the a darker border around the edge so I'm going to pull out a uh, vintage photo and I'm going to grab my vintage photo uh, foam pad I'll put that on and ink it up and then let's get in our corners. I think I would like to do a little bit of experimenting. Uh, in another video we used um, I think it was Vintage Photo and we also used Evergreen Bow. So I want to pull that out. Just kind of thinking about this as we go and I'm going to add that to this and see what kind of patina we can get. Okay, got it. And let's switch over again to the Evergreen Bow foam pad. And let's see what happens. Oh, yes. Already, I like this. I love what the introduction of the green does for our surface. That's really cool. Really like this. Okay, so now I'm going to put some stamps on it. And I'm going to use um, Archival Sepia color. And I'm using um, the, um, the hot air balloon and the mechanical machine and I've forgotten <laughs> the name of the stamp set it is the remnant stamp set and then I'm also going to use a couple of architectural elements from the classics number two stamp set Tim Holtz stamp sets. So first of all, well let me get my stamp blocks. I forgot to get those out. Okay. Need my larger blocks. I'm going to start with this one, this architectural one, and put that down in the corner there, and ink it up. Okay, and I'm going to kind of stamp off the edge of the page. I hope you can see me. Let me make sure. Okay. Okay, see that just a little bit, just a little bit of texture there. And uh, let's come down here and do it upside down. Okay, 
then I'm going to switch over to this one. And I'm going to do a little experiment again. I'm going to put evergreen bow on this one. put this right in this corner. You know, sometimes it is easier to flip over and while holding them with one hand, press with the other. Alright, there we go. Okay, it's just a little bit too green there. So when it dries, I'm going to put a little vintage photo over it. So let me go back to the sepia. And I'm going to use the machinery from Remnants. I don't really like this size of stamp pad because it's too large to pick up and, and ink with and it's a little bit of a pain to ink with this way. But I have it, so I'm going to use it till it's gone. Let's put that right there. This is the Clockworks machinery. That's good. And then the last one is the hot air balloon. And I think I would like to put that one on in black because I want it to stand out more. So I'm going to use my archival black. Pick it up really well. And put it about midway. Okay. Now you can do what you want with this. You can uh, add some embellishments to it. Um, let's see. You could add some... Well, not sure. I'm trying to think. It's late at night and um, my brain just doesn't want to work. I'll tell you what. I'm going to work with this and then I'll... Um, post a picture of the finished piece with my embellishments on it and let me go ahead and let's see I think this is the yeah. I'm going to deepen my well no I think that's my evergreen bow so nope that's the evergreen bow this is I've lost track. <laughs> well, let's see. I think Vintage Photo was the last one I used. So let's put it in the Vintage Photo. And doll down that green just a little bit. I think I would prefer that stamp to be in the sepia. Or even Vintage Photo. But oh well. You play and you learn. I really like the evergreen bow though in the background. Not so much in the stamp but in the background. So when I uh, decide what I'm going to embellish this with then I will post it so you can see it. Uh, I'm thinking right now that I'm probably going to use some of this the sugar maple um, tattered angels glimmer mist on it. Or even better this I'm going to go ahead and spray it with the cappuccino perfect pearls. Shake that up. And give it some. There. Some nice bling. Okay. So um, I hope you'll try the image transfer if you have a laser printer. Um, let me bring this back over and show you that it is starting to uh, dry down 
and uh, you really can't appreciate the texture on this texture glass unless you see it in in uh, in person <laughs> but it is a thick dimensional type of finish and what it makes it look like is that you're looking down through glass at the image that's underneath so it's a really cool dimensional look and finish so um, try this and I hope you have fun watching today and see you next time